Fantasy football starts of the week for week three. It's been rough for DeAndre Swift, but he faces the Colts this week who have allowed the most rushing yards this season. Swift caught four passes last week and has played over 65% of the snaps in both games. Jordan Mason has rushed the ball 28 times for 147 yards and a touchdown in week one, and then 20 times for 100 yards and a touchdown in week two. He now faces the Rams who have allowed the fourth most fantasy points per game to running backs and the third most rushing yards. Chuba Hubbard faces the Raiders who have allowed the fourth most rushing yards this season. He's coming off of a week where he rushed for 64 yards and caught four passes, and the Panthers are changing their offense. Chris Olave faces the Eagles, who allow the second most fantasy points per game to wide receivers and the fifth most passing yards this season. I think Carr is going to have to emphasize throwing the ball to his wide receiver one in this matchup. George Pickens had two big plays called back last week, and he finished with 85 yards in week one. He faces the Chargers that were very friendly to wide receivers last season, but have been uncontested this year. Jamison Williams faces the Cardinals, and this could be an offensive boxing match. He has been targeted 20 times across two games with 121 and 79 receiving yard finishes. Brock Bowers gets a nice matchup against the Carolina Panthers, and in my opinion, looks like the best tight end for fantasy football this season. And then on Sunday night, I like Kirk Cousins against the Kansas City Chiefs in what should be a passing game script. They've allowed the second most fantasy points per game to quarterbacks and the second most passing yards this season.